Today I'm putting a window regulator motor in a, a window, whole window regulator in a 2011 Buick Lucerne. And I was going to show them getting the door panel off because it's pretty stubborn, but it, it comes off. You got one screw right in here, and if you take a pick or a small flathead screwdriver, I like to pick better. If you come in and grab it right like that, you see the little indention there. Where you get your screwdriver in, it's just got a little clip right there. Then take a Phillips head screwdriver. Take that one screw out, and it's just that one screw is all that's holding holding that together. Then take your nylon pry tool and come and get in. Just kind of find a place to work your way in. And There are some little clips around through here. And some of them pop right out. Some of them are really stubborn like that one was. And then come down and work your way around to the next one. And as you're working your way around, you'll hear them start popping. And it may not hurt to have two. And you can pick these up at Harbor Freight for like $8 or so. They're not very expensive. Kind of work your way around the door. Get all those off. You just lift up, pull it out good. Make sure all the clips disengage, and you just lift up, right like that. You chop it, I think. Okay. So you, once you get this loose, find that little groove, and that'll slip right off. And the reason I still have it plugged in, what it did, it got to where it was making a grinding noise when the window would go up and down. Is let's see. the cable has come loose and wrapped around itself. So now, I'll show you what I'm talking about. You can hear the cable just grinding in there. All right. Now I've already taken. There's a bolt right here. 10 millimeter bolt right there to get one side off this is what actually squeezes together and holds the glass and on the back side there's another one right in here and I'll show you that as we put it back together but you can reach this one with a wrench and this one with a wrench if yours is locked up down now if you can still roll the window up and down there's two holes right here that you can go through and take the window loose just make sure you either have something holding the window like this or someone to hold the window or a suction cup or whatever but um i'll go ahead and take this loose and uh get started and i've already loosened the bolts i just haven't taken them out but i got the window out first before i started about hit thought about hitting record button bolts total I'm gonna leave these two in I'm going to go ahead and unplug it and that has got it loose it's completely loose right there don't lose your bolts and then thing flopping around is what's causing it's hard to get in and out but that's that's it and this is what's wrong with it. the motor's good everything's good but in my experience trying to rewind one of those things it's pretty much impossible I mean once the cable comes off or gets loose or these this here um, 
will come out like that, and that's usually what happens to them. Once that stuff starts coming apart, it's time for a new one. And this one isn't that old, but we went ahead and got a new one with a lifetime warranty on it from the Rollins. Here's the new one. And I've already loosened these up. That's what squeezes down on your window when you tighten these bolts up. it just let it fall just kind of wiggle it around and it'll fall into place and then I probably should put these back in first but it really doesn't matter So you just be patient, wiggle it around, and eventually it'll go right where it needs to be. Start that one. That's where that one went. There. And now the rest of your bolts should line up. Make sure and start all your bolts before you tighten any one down or you make it hard to get them. They can make them hard to get them to all go in if you tighten one up and the holes are not even lined up. back in and then I'm going to pull this back out and bring the window down just a little bit and I'll show you how to make sure that it's it'll wiggle around but you just need to make sure the window has these two little mounts, or has this, yeah, that will slide down between these two rubber pieces right here. That's it, I got my finger on. And once it's in, and it's in on both sides, and you can see it through these little holes right here. If there was enough light in there, you could see it, but I can see it. And so, uh, I like to roll it back up all the way and make sure it seats myself. Ease it back down till you can see the bolt right there and right there. And then I'll make sure it's down in there good. Good and snug is about all you need. Don't don't try to break the bolts there. That's to make sure everything goes all the way down without hitting. It looks good. Okay, 
So now that we know that the wind is going up and down good and everything again. Turn this back around. Go ahead and hook your door cable back up. Take and slide that right into that groove. That wire goes right into that little groove. Pull it out through the slot. It snaps right in just like that. To release it, you just squeeze these two tabs together and you squeeze those two tabs together and just pull it out. Swing it around and unlatch the ball. And then, well, on this, be really careful with this whenever you take it off because it will crack and break and this is the second time that i know of that this has been off i didn't do it the first time but as, as it came off i mean it just you know so be really careful with that we're going to try to fix this one up a little bit if we can and then i'll show you what we come up with well, when you're putting this this cover back on it's pretty much a sound deadener is what this is where it was all broken up i just got it lined up best i could and put some duct tape across it to kind of hold it together i mean it also has some material on the inside of the door to kind of help deaden the noise. But when you're putting it on, you'll notice, if you can see, there's a hole in the door right here. And there's a plug right here. And those are all the way around. You have to, if you line that up, everywhere there's one of these, it'll be like either a bolt head or a fastener of some sort sticking through the door. And then it's got this tar strip on it, which, you know, in theory, I ought to be able to press it down like so. And run back around the seam and it should stick back together especially after you put the door panel back on it should pull it down but all of these right here if they're not if these are not lined up on what they go on it's going to mess you up you know so now i will make sure you go through your get your door locked through the hole Look at these little push clips and make sure that they're starting into the holes right. And once they are, just tap it back on. If you have any doubt, take your fingers. If you have any of that much doubt, lay on the ground and look and make sure. But I can tell these are all in because it's fitted so tight to the door. And just, you'll hear them pop when you pop them. Now we got our screw. Put our screw back in. Like I say, I'm not going to just get super carried away with that. Then our little trim piece. And now, I think that's good. Just clean the window up, and I think we're done. So this here is a pretty common failure on these. The cable gets loose most of the time because this piece right here just comes loose from what not a master mechanic but everyone that I pulled apart that broke loose on and uh, I mean I guess you technically could try to rewind that if you want to the motor on this one is still good but that one had a lifetime warranty but if I if the motor on it ever did go bad if you want to just replace the motor you could do that by taking a screw out but I think if you do that you have to rewind that cable and that's the hardest part of it all anyway so it usually it's just better just to go ahead and buy a regulator 
This one was like $75.99 from O'Reilly Auto Parts. There's the part number, 2011 Buick Lucerne. And I think this one was replaced about two years ago maybe, and it cost about $250 for the labor on it. And that's why I made the video. It's really not that big of a job. If I can do it, just about anybody can do it. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope somebody found it informative. And I appreciate you guys watching.